But hey guys, hi, welcome back to the channel. We're ready to continue episode 4 of NGIS. I think I am. Let's go see who we're uncovering this time. Is that too high or too low? I I can touch it. Oh, Episode 4, Dubai. Three fingers scotch, one cube of ice. My friend is going to stick with it, so. And I don't blame you. Looks like a nasty bruise on your arm. Put away one too many last night and take a spill. Is that maybe Robert Wagner? Like to the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Gibbs. Agent Gibbs, this is Commander Framus calling from Iraq. What do you need, Commander? It's Dr. Lux. Yeah? She was found dead in her oh. cell early this morning. The acting base doctor said she was strangled to death. What's up, boss? Dr. Marks was found dead this morning. Strangled. Confidential. Alright. Thought I didn't have access. It's need to know. But now you need to know. So let's hear it. Naval Intelligence was running a sting operation in Iran, posing as weapons dealers. A black ops team made contact with a terrorist cell just outside of Amadan. Their mission was to identify the leadership and eradicate the entire cell. The United States government was involved in a sin operation in Iran. They were attempting to flush out a terrorist cell using weapons grade plutonium as bait. Let me guess, they screwed up. In so many words, yes. How? Things didn't go as planned. Before they could track and eliminate the terrorists, the officer in charge of the op was killed. The CO was murdered, so the op failed. Exactly. There's something else. What? This morning, two deep cover Navy SEALs were found murdered in their Dubai hotel room. SECNAV has requested our help in investigating their murders and securing their assets. And the SEALs are related to the sting? That is what we believe. How? That's what I want you to find out. Anything else? Anthony Dinozo Sr. was arrested this morning. In Dubai. My father? What's the charge? I don't know. It's out of our jurisdiction. And Dubai hasn't been as agreeable sharing information lately, considering what's been going on in the Middle East. Dinozo, David, grab your gear. You're going to Dubai. Dinozo, seals first, then your father. Understood. Wow, interesting. So, Dinozo's father. Ducky, you're on body detail. Ziva, check for signs of a struggle. Seals often use high security laptops, but if they had one, we need to find it. So, who am I, Ziva? Yeah. 
It seems a bullet penetrated the sofa. Where it's not found at the hotel crime scene, they are all the same caliber. Pictures of the bodies, Eva. Remember? Patrick Swift, deceased, one of the two Navy SEALs on a mission in Dubai. He was shot in the chest and stomach. Both victims have the same unique tattoos. It seems somehow familiar. It's Captain Gosselin's. Remember? One body done. Now I will take a picture of the other. Where is the other? Over here, right? I'll find them. Let's start over here. A cell phone. I should photograph all of these. Two cell phones, one from each of the deceased Navy SEALs. Bullet hole. Stop. What is that on the ground? Oh, there's the other victim. Two bodies photographed. That is all of them. What is next? Nate Levin, deceased, one of two Navy SEALs on the mission in Dubai. He was also shot in the chest and stomach. And the tattoo then. The bullet must have gone straight through and lodged in the wall. Well, the same group that does through A bullet up. hole. Great. Now what? There is a piece of this mirror missing. Remember that one when the dice were short, weren't they? I thought they were sad for me. This mirror has been shattered. The bathroom mirror has been smashed and one large piece is missing. The door to the bathroom appeared strange to me. Perhaps you should check it out. Oh yeah, I noticed. I noticed now. This door has been shut. There is still a bullet lodged inside. I think I have all the bullets now. I still with the noise alone. Alright, that's in here. Cell phone. Two victims, two cell phones. I believe that is all of them. What is this? There is something under this cabinet. Don't 
tell me, could you help me move this cabinet? You're welcome, Ziva. Now let us see what is under this cabinet. There is some strange substance on it. Looks like blood, but better get Abby to confirm it. There is also a fingerprint on it. Was that the Mara piece? Oh no, that was more I was looking at. Intrepted laptop. The fact there was intrepted laptop. Retrieving further details will tie our data for a search. So basically, the seal's laptop. So basically, we need to be the. Is that the mirror piece? A lot, yeah, it is. A large jaded shard of broken mirror. One end is stained in what appears to be blood, the other has fingerprints. This looks like the missing piece. Boss, it's me. What do you got? We found two cell phones and an encrypted laptop that are longing for a wild foursome with McGee. Is that a joke? Yes. Though, apparently not a very good I'll one. I'll let McGee know. Boss? Boss? Hmm. That's strange. He hung up on me. Actually, on second thought, not strange at all. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of stuff we know that strange. <laughs> We are many. Let's do the cell phone first. Eight, four, nine, eight, three, two, move. Uh, order. These are a series of 17 direct tolls to Captain J.J. Hustler. It seems the SEAL was in constant contact with him. The SEALs were receiving phone calls from an overseas phone number that originated in Iraq. And guess who that number is registered to? Captain J.J. Husker. One. Okay, this is serious. Hustler's email friend uses the word terrorists and missing plutonium in the same sentence. In a series of messages, he reportedly asked the SEALs team if they had located the lost material. Okay, there's something else. Now here's something, the SEAL sent an email to the superior officer reporting terrorist related activities from a company by the name of Gentech Dynamics. Where have I heard that name before? The SEAL's field reports are heavily encrypted, but from what I can decode, they repeatedly make mention of a Gentech Dynamics. These seals were definitely working for Captain Husker. Thanks, McGee. I'll be talking to Abby if you find anything else. Uh, when you want to start, nice. Here? That's up here. Alright, so go and try the mirror. 
看一眼早上的盘。Let's do the fingerprint first. I got a match. These fingerprints definitely, without a doubt, 100% came from Lieutenant Nate Levine, the seal found in the bathroom. Unique tattoos. No. That's it. Maybe. That's it. So it is. The SEAL's tattoos are exactly the same as the one Captain Husker and Commander Birch had. That means they were all in the same Black Ops unit. The boot slugs found at the claim scene are all 45 caliber. They were all found from the same gun. This is human blood, but it's not from either of the murdered seals. Oh. What do you got, Abs? Well, I've got fingerprints from Lieutenant Nate Levine on the mirror shard, and a blood sample here that doesn't match anyone we know. Let's put it all together on the deduction board. Why does he always want a deduction board? I hate them. Let's see what we can find. What does that mean, Abs? I deserve a cupcake for that. Mama brought them to make weapons. But then Nate Levine brought them out in order to use the shard as a weapon. Why don't you explain it to me, Abs? Okay, check this out. Mara, murder of a wounded by Mara. One of the seals, Nate Lorraine, broke the mirror and used the piece as a weapon. You fought back when he was attacked. Time to earn your lab coat. What does that mean, Abs? What happened? No, don't. Oh no, I had a prank my flash sleep. Oh no, I'm not. I'm not. Oh, come on, Gary. Oh. I know you see what I see. She was on Hustler's team. Why 
Why do you think that, Abs? Just what I thought. Right, they want to recover the plutonium. So the sea was going to buy and recover the plutonium that was lost to the terrorists during Tactical Hustler's sin operation. Gibbs, Nate Levine, and Patrick Swift were reporting directly to Captain Husker. Something they were involved with got them killed. Where are you going? Director Vance. What's going on in Dubai? You mean the World Financial Congress? You know what I mean, Leon. The event is a highly visible target with a lot of high-profile people. Echelon has picked up chatter that has led naval intelligence to believe it will be a target for a terrorist attack. But why Dubai? Why now? Like I told you, it has to do with the failed sting operation in Iran. You mean Captain Husker's operation? The failed sting operation in Iran has led us to Dubai, though J.J. Husker was not involved. You're lying to me, Leon. Those SEALs had orders from Husker. All right, Gibbs. Husker went off the reservation. He was using the sting operation to try and extort extra money from the terrorists. It backfired. And not only did it get him killed, but the plutonium they were using as bait ended up in the wrong hands. Captain Husker and his team were not supposed to let the plutonium outside of their reach. They failed and the terrorists now have nuclear materials. What else do you know about J.J. Husker? J.J. stands for James Johnson. The name Husker was a cover, one given to him by the Navy when he began running black ops. Captain Johnson, related to Dustin Johnson, the guard killed in the Lucky Card Casino? Father and son. So their deaths are related, no doubt about it. Hmm. Yeah. Yes, I just made the most interesting discovery. There was something lodged under the fingernail of one of our dead seals, a wax or polymer of some kind. I've sent it up to Abby for testing. Thanks, Duck. I'll go see her. And then...
Kind of not. This is some sort of petrochemical, though an unusual one. It has a lot in common with other carbon-based substances normally used as a coating on fabrics to make them waterproof. What do you got, Ed? Gibbs, this is weird. I've never come across this particular chemical before. I mean, the concept is familiar, but the actual substance is new to me. Maybe McGee can come up with more information on it. Thanks, Ed. Dinozo. Hey, boss. I'm just about... Have you spoken to your father yet? Already at the prison. Just keep your head in the game. Don't let your father derail you. Understood. Guys, I think that's enough around the end for the OT. What did you do this that's time, Dad? That's how you Dad? greet me, Junior? Yes, consider that my standard greeting when I'm bailing you out of jail. How many times now? Junior, when are you going to learn to stop living in the past? You need to enjoy today. What did you do? Nothing. I find that hard to believe. The Dubai police don't make a habit of just incarcerating American citizens without reason. Nothing, Junior. I was in town for less than 48 hours when they knocked on the door and arrested me. I didn't even have a chance to have my breakfast. Tragic. But if I'm going to get you out of here, you're going to have to give me some real details. What'd they tell you when you were arrested? They said I owe money. Apparently it's a crime to default on a debt in Dubai. How much do you owe? They said I owe $200 million. What? How did you manage to get into debt in just 48 hours? I told you, Junior, I'm innocent. I just came to town to attend the World Financial Congress. I attend every year, and while I was at the opening night gala, an old friend of mine introduced me to a man named Rashid al Mohammed. He was looking to bring on board an experienced CEO to help right the ship, so I sat down with him, had a scotch, and before the evening was over, I signed on with him for quite a hefty salary. I see. And the company owes the money. That's right. What's the name of this... Company. Gentech Dynamics. Rashid Al Mohammed so Gentech Dynamics to Anthony Denoso Senior. The company owns a lot of money and as a result Denoso Senior has been arrested. So let me get this straight. You now have a significant ownership stake in a company that turns out to be massively in debt. Uh, it appears that way. Yes. And they won't let you out of prison until you pay that debt. That's what I'm told. Tell me again the name of the guy who gave you this job. His name is Rashid al Mohammed. Anything else you can tell me about this Rashid al Mohammed? Actually, Junior, yes. He had two very strange wounds on his arm. It looked as if he'd been bitten by something with fangs. Rashid al Mohammed had an unusual wound on his forearm, also the teeth marks, so maybe one of them bite. Um, <sighs> okay, Dad. Just sit tight and I'll see what I can do to get you out of here. I know you will, Junior. McGee, can you help me do a background check on a Dubai company? Sure. What's the name? Gentech Dynamics. Gentech Dynamics? Hmm. That sounds familiar. I'll get back to you as soon as I know anything. Thanks, Proby. So how is everybody? Uh, I'm gonna end it there, yeah. if you don't mind guys. I am very tired. So guys, I will see you in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode.
and I will see you in the next one, like I just said. Bye, nice.